Bitch of Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Who's uh, your friend? You're collaborating with somebody here, or is it? Yes. You? So she was my co-actor. So that this is my best friend, Francine Diaz. Ah, uh, how fun! Oh, nice. Yeah. So she was actually the best friend I was talking about earlier. That all right. I was joking around with when uh, I created the song. And the song came out of one of our conversations. So when I got her to be on board for this project, it was like the most like, you know, full circle thing. And the fact that we were able to work it out with her schedule because she's an actress mm -hmm. and she's been like filming for her, her television show. So it's been really hard to find like a schedule like that would work for the both of us since we're both busy and we don't even get to see each other much, but we've managed to stay, you know, super in touch and, throughout this whole thing. So the fact that we were able to like find a schedule for this, it, it can't, I can't help but feel like it was like meant to be, that's you know what I mean? Definitely. Oh, that's made amazing. Out for like a really fun song. So the first part is in Tagalog. So I'll give you a translation. Thanks. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. Let me see. Oh, how is it pronounced? Malabong Usapan. But Malabong Usapan. Malabong Usapan. Okay, I like fine. that. I'm that's not so gonna cool, try to right? say it again. Just let me know if you can hear it. Ano girl, ano chica? Napakakismosa mo talaga. Di naman sa chismosa, concern lang. Pero di nga, ano nga? Eh kasi, nalilito na ako sa kanya. Minsan ang sweet niya sa akin, tapos nila yourself. malalamig. Ay hindi, parang kung gusto ba niya ako, <laughs> hindi. Pero alam mo, duda ako dyan eh. Ah, pero means ba? Remember, ano na? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ayaw na natin maulit yung mga ganyan. Basta, di ka na? Okay, you can pause there for a second. I'm going to translate everything that just happened. Bloody hell, go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'll give you the, the short version. So basically, she kind of sighed and I was like, what's up, girl? Like, what, what's poppin'? Like, I was speaking a bit of gay lingo there, the Filipino gay lingo. It's All right. a cultural thing. It was, uh, I was just like, what's up? And then uh, she was basically telling me about the situation where she was talking to this guy and he was just being so unclear. He was being a little shady and basically being super confusing of where she and that guy were standing like in the scene. So I was basically telling her that, uh, you know, like, I, I don't trust this guy. I think he's shady. You know, it sounds like an experience that I've been through before. And, and I was like, remember, like, you know, I've been through this. And then she was like, yes. And then I was like, we don't want that to happen again now, do we? And I was like, you know what? Come on. And she was like, where are we going? And then I was like, just come with me. That's and cool. here we are. So it's really nice. It's like a, a situation of like, you know, that conversation sometimes you have with someone of like, what are we? The whole, you know? Yeah. That, it, yes. that what are we conversation? That, that, I'm, yeah. The what are we conversation? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I hate those ones. Don't like them. Yeah. What was that? I don't like those conversations. Same here. Same here. That's why I wrote the song. <laughs> <laughs> why I wrote the song. And yeah, so basically, I'll, I'll explain the hook but uh, later, but it's basically talking about ayoko ng malabong usapan, which means like, I don't want to have a conversation or an understanding like this. So right. it's like, it's like having a situationship, you know, it's a situation. Yeah. The thing, but nobody knows what thing it is. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah. and it's and that's the annoying part. That's yeah. why. No, I, yeah. I a bit of enjoyment, not knowing a bit. No, as well I sometimes. think I think you need clarity. Anyways, boy. Let, let, yeah, <laughs> that's what it's about. Exactly, it's about let's, wanting clarity. Let's, let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. Okay, let's keep watching. It's really nice. Oh, also, you setting. directed it as well, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Gorgeous outfits. I love it. Oh. Thank you. Snapping, love it. Yeah, so he's very pop forward, this one. That's so catchy on this one. basically a teacher you're like teacher yeah like because you've been through it before mm -hmm, exactly oh beautiful thank you 
very attractive choice of uh, outfits, Jada. Thank you. Okay, go on, boss. So she can like explain let's, let's the pause. So I can explain the lyrics. Yeah. So Umasa doesn't U Umasa because I I remember listening to a Scusta Klee song. And he's like, he's got a song called Umasa, I think. So doesn't that mean, uh, uh, fuck. I can't Do remember. It. I can't remember. You can't remember. Okay, okay. So, so to give you a brief, like, well, to start off, like Umasa means like to hope. That's it. To, like, to, so basically, which basically means, that's one of the, first, it's the first line of the song. And it's, it really was kind yeah, of like. Uh, sorry the, to interrupt you. But you kind of got frozen up, so we missed that whole first section of it all. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Can you can you hear me now? I didn't yeah, I didn't say good. much yet. Oh yeah, okay. Well, you heard, I guess, the whole well, masa yeah. thing leads to hope. But but basically, so the first part is ang sarap magmahal sa simula, which means you know, loving is great in the beginning, and then hanggang malaman mo na until you know or until you find out that ang nagmamahal ay ikaw nang pala, which means um until you find out you're the only one who's in love or you're the only one who's loving. Mm. So like loving's great until you find out. You're like, the only one, yeah. Yeah, you're the only one who's in love. And then- it's she's like being like, in a dance, uh, but dancing alone. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then pagatas kung umibigat masaktan means after loving and hurting, maraming uh, natutunan means I've learned a lot. Nice. And then- Dapat ang puso'y bantayan at ingatan means uh, you should take care of your heart and you should guard your heart. Cool. And then it comes into the pre-chorus, which is ayoko nang umasa sa paasa na walang pagasa, which it it sounds it's actually kind of like you know more a more creative way of saying it in Filipino, but in English to give you like a really like literal translation, it's is I don't want to keep on hoping on someone who will lead me on or who will give me false hope mm -hmm. where there is no hope. I know yeah. it's weird. It's like the asa, asa, asa. It's like, it's like- It's the rhythmical <laughs> pattern of understanding Tagalog, yeah. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. So I, it's like, oh, thank you. Yeah, no, it was meant to be kind of more rap, like with rap inflections as well, with the rapid fire, da 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 da, da, da. So yeah, and then ayoko nang ganyan means like, I don't want that. And then I say it again, ayoko nang umasa sa paasa na walang pag-asa. Uh, which means, and then, uh, what I said earlier, and then, di na ako palilin lang, like, you can't fool me. Like, I won't be fooled. And then it goes to the chorus, ayoko nang malabong usapan, which means I don't want a, an unclear understanding. Ito ang dapat ko nang iwasan, which means I should stay away from this. And then, ito ako kung gusto mo. I'm right here if you want me. Uh, basta ito ang ayoko, but this is what I don't want. So it's basically like, here are my terms of agreement. This is what I want. I know what I want, but you should know what I don't want as well. Definitely. So it's really about having that sense of security in yourself and just really being like, okay, I know what I want, but you should know what you want too. I and like you that. You should understand, like, I don't want, it's like, like I'm not going to take any of that. You know, I love and this is a, this is one hell of an empowering song and some people should know that. I Thank love you. that. It's great. I yeah, I mean it's a message that I really wanted to, you know, send across to yeah. to my listeners and to anyone, anyone who, out especially there. If, yeah. yeah, if anyone uh heard the song and this was like their first impression of me, I wanted to make a statement. And then I say M U, which is basically Malabung Usapan, it's yeah. what it stands for. So ayoko lang ng MU, which means it's it's basically like I just don't want just an MU. Like I I won't do a relationship without a label, basically. Like that, you know, yeah. stand your power. I love that. Like, <laughs> yeah. And the freaking outfits, the transitions, and by the thank way, you. That beat production is beautiful. I love that. Thank you. Who yep. produced it? Uh, so basically, I produced it with uh, my co-producer called Jonathan Manalo and Jonathan. also cool. Theo Martel. He's so amazing. He's this great arranger. He uh, So basically, Jonathan found him online and then nice. we, we actually worked with him. And I've actually, he produced a lot of, um, he arranged a lot of my earlier songs back from my first EP. So this is my first time working with him again in a very long time. So it was just really awesome that I got to work with him again for this one and I had specific instructions I was like 
you know, uh, I, well, I, I started the song on the guitar, but then I found a beat on the internet, which I top lined and that's how I ended up finishing the song. Wow. So I had specific instructions for him and I was like, look, like this is gonna be a, I want this to be very anthemic. I want it to feel like, okay, listen up. Like, mm -hmm. this is what I have to say. And uh, I had, I just had very specific instructions. Like I wanted big drums and a really strong guitar line. It, it's really it's really colorful if you think about it it's a it's a colorful uh music composition and I, I i stand that it reminds me a little bit of like little mixes like power songs i love you know? them yes oh my gosh they were like my one of my biggest influences like well, there you up. go <laughs> learning how to like harmonize i love little mix but yeah really exactly i was going for that girl power theme mm -hmm. so exactly it does have the qualities to be a uh yeah it, ha it has all the qualities and characteristics to be a, a good pop hit yeah definitely it, oh when... wow well, thank pop you that, means, let's that means a lot to me let's, let's keep watching on. let's go Beautiful. it's good rhythmicality it's really great yeah. Yeah, that, that phrase is so nicely rhythmically speaking. <laughs> Fantastic! Love that drop. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Where the hell are the people in the um in the pictures? You know when she's holding the book. Oh, that's us. No, those are real life pictures. Oh, because oh, they nice. look really real. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Here. So those are little. Uh, that's one of the little uh Easter eggs that I we've put in the video. But yeah, it's like a. Yeah. yeah look at those Polaroids. Love them. Yeah, those Polaroids. That turned me like you know like our pictures throughout these past few months and the past Goofing few like, around. I love that. Yeah, yeah. So like uh, we really wanted to make this video personal. I wanted a really personal touch. And um, our, our production designer was actually one of uh, his name's Migs Al Cid. And then he basically said like, oh, uh, we should have like little tidbits for the fans to spot. Yeah. And, you know, they were super happy when they found out. So yeah, like that's basically uh, one of one of the little Easter eggs throughout the video. There are some stuff on the blackboard, uh, blackboard, the whiteboard as well. It's a, it's a word. Is it bahagi? Is that how you pronounce yes. it? Yes. What does that yeah. mean? Bahagi means a part of, which a is. Part. It means uh well oh. yeah it means a part of but it means something to me and it might be coming something special might be coming in the next few weeks really oh I mean uh, come on love that yeah. I feel like I'm now Jada I feel like now I'm some sort of a player in a mystery but yes I, I, I mean I that that was the whole point I really wanted my fans to find these Easter eggs and you know make theories about it I love it you know you know when people theories? talk how many theories have you gotten so far. Oh, a bunch, honestly, because like, you know, when this came out, like I was such a pleasant surprise. It trended at number five um, nationwide here in the Philippines on ooh, Twitter, ooh, which was absolutely crazy. And then people in the hashtag, they were just talking about what is Bahagi? Like, what is that to her? And honestly, like right here, right now, I can say like it's something special that you guys are going to have to watch out for in the next few weeks. But How exciting. Uh, I know, yeah, but hey, I, I want to include you guys throughout this whole experience. So I'm going to translate the second verse. Yes, go for it. Oh, this is so exciting. I love this. Yeah, I know. So basically, so um, the next line is, Sa una palang alam mo na. So, you know, in the very beginning, you already knew. Ang aking nararamdaman. So you already knew in the very beginning how I felt about you. Um, Bog musana akong paglaruan means don't, I hope you don't play with my feelings. So basically this whole song is also a note to self and, you know, knowing your worth and self-empowerment. But at the same time, I wanted this to kind of be 
a letter to the next guy saying like, okay, these are my terms of agreement when it comes to like dating me. I guess. <laughs> want me here, here's what I have to say. So basically it's like me saying like, you know, you already know how I feel about you. Don't play with my feelings. And then this is my favorite. These next few lyrics are my favorite part uh, of the song. So it's Ampuso koi marupok. So marupok is a word that's used a lot uh, these days. And marupok means fragile or you know kind of frail of heart so it's used in a in a funny way a lot of the time like you know uh i guess in, in the best way possible like i would relate it to the american saying like simping for someone oh, okay. so it's saying i'm a bit of a simp like <laughs> my heart is like fragile it's it's uh, i'm a bit of a simp means but i'm not afraid to give everything to someone uh, nakarapat dapat, which means uh, nakarapat dapat, someone that should, like someone that should have it, or you who know, who deserves it, kind of thing. It, who deserves it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's basically saying like, because like it's usually used with like a kind of negative connotation, like oh you're a simp, you know, uh, But I'm saying like there's a flip side to it, like hey, I might be fragile, I fall in love easily, but at the same time. I'm not afraid of love. I'm not afraid right. of commitment. Like that sort of kind of thing. Like I'm not afraid of that. And na umiibig ng tapat. So I'm giving my heart to someone who deserves it, who will love me honest, honestly and truthfully. So that's basically everything I said. I know it's a lot to take in. No, no, yeah. no. It's fantastic. And, and, and it makes sense though. Like when you look at it uh, in the music video as well, is is that it's, it's the whole thought process. And I love that loop thoughting like uh, section where your friend, they are like, here's what we it's get. Adlib, how yeah. do you feel? This is how exactly. we feel. <laughs> like, it's like, it's, it's nice. I, I really had a specific vision in mind for that scene, like mm -hmm. being a director, because I had a specific shot list that I really wanted followed. And my co-director, Edric Sanchez, he was the one behind the camera. Like he's so good at, he was also the editor for this video. Uh, and Fantastic. you know, Fantastic. all my, my work with him, he's, he's awesome. And for that specific scene, like that part where I crouched down to Francine, her, her name's Francine, my best friend. I had, it was such a, specific vision that I had in my mind it was so clear that I wanted it uh to look like that I told him I was like did I uh the camera has to be here I want to see her reaction and I saw that in her eyes like as a director I told her like you know her being the actress I was like I needed to see uh, I need to see it in your eyes that you're understanding what I'm saying I need that moment of realization that you're understanding what I'm saying because you're coming from a place of confusion and you're, it's finally uh, there's finally some clarity so mm -hmm. I want to see that in your eyes and she delivered that so perfectly in the way that I wanted it to be and the way she was answering it because I told her I need you to lip sync those little kind of um, ad -libs. Uh, the ad libs and the call and responses uh -huh. like those little uh, tidbits and then uh, you know that's how it happened and you know, I'm I'm just so happy with the with the outcome. I think that's probably like my favorite scene of the whole video. To be yeah, honest. I, I think it's great. I honestly think and of uh, as well the the color hue and filtering of the video itself really really nice because it feels like mm. I'm in a sleepover with you girls. Like if you know, like yeah. I'm, I'm part of this whole thought process with you as well. And um, yeah. Exactly, that's and exactly and it, it's. It, it feels intimate, but it feels empowering at the same time. And I like that. Exactly. Nice touch. Yeah. Nice touch. So now here we go here with the, with the dance break. The dance break. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't very usual of me. So when fans saw it, they were like super shook. Like, what? oh my God, dancing. It's fantastic. Yeah. I love the black, uh, the the backdrop in red and the, the light filtering. Pull it, pull it back a little bit before really it nice. goes into the yeah. That's the theme of the whole campaign. So. Beautiful. So sick. I love the trousers. Yeah, the fashion is really nice. Great. I love this this scene. It's really nice. Thank you. Sure. Great show. Thank you. Ooh. I love that show. That's beautiful. I love that. Francine, right? Gorgeous. Nice. That's 
That's ridiculous. Props to those dancers, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Uh, it's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, there's, there's some a bit more, extra, isn't there? Yeah. extra more. Oh, no, that's just like uh, the... Okay, okay. <laughs> Star music. Yeah, that's my label. So good. But yeah, so that, that's the MU, Malabu Mustafa. Fantastic work. I, I love... By the so way, much. can we talk about the choreography? Who Who's yes. your crew and the whole... Yes, of course. Of I, I proudly, I would love to talk about them and give them that recognition, of course. So her name is Jabel Dairit Sepasha. She is an awesome choreographer. I've worked with her for a really long time and she's really... I guess like she's always about bringing out the best in me and I love her for that and we work so well together I want to give her a shout out and of course to her dancers be grind they're awesome they're an awesome crew and you know this I they created this certain energy I mean we finished the, sh the, the shoot really late but at the same time you know uh there was just this energy in the room that was unmatched and mm. uh, this sense of like female empowerment, like we were all women there and it just felt so strong and powerful. And even though I was really tired from the whole day, like they really lifted me up and they were all about, you know, uh, you know, helping me and we were helping all helping each other out. And like, really, we all had this like one goal of trying to create this really, you know, this really important music video and, you know, sending that message across with the dance that they were making and uh i i just have to give credit to at the jabelle she's absolutely incredible and she created the choreography for this one which i'm about to release like a tiktok um Ooh, dance kind of craze on yeah. on tiktok for this for this uh choreography so hopefully everyone hops in on the trend as well but most yeah. definitely so, yeah, i, I think give credit to them a hundred percent absolutely amazing by the way the styling is that is that all part of your own directing and, and your own choices or uh, yeah. did you have any outsource it was i had an outsource of course uh obviously it was a collaborative process but i have to give credit to my hair uh my stylist his name is elds mejia he really styles me and I had a really specific vision for how I wanted the clothes to look for this video. And he really brought that to life with obviously his own flair and his own touch. So I really have to give a huge shout out to him for the amazing clothes. And it turned out so great. It turned Absolutely out so exactly stunning. the way that I envisioned yeah. it. And it, I feel like it really helped bring out even the message more of the video and the theme of red, because I really saw it so clear in my mind. Like I have this thing called, I guess um, people would call it synesthesia. And I tend to associate sounds or music Music with, colors. with colors and yeah. when when i wrote emu uh i really associated it with the color uh red and he really brought that to life with the outfits and especially i'm so happy with how um the teacher the sexy teacher outfit uh came out and the schoolgirl aspect and the whole it, it really helped out the whole message that i wanted to kind of portraying the scenes where and it's like the teacher student vibe and mm -hmm. you know at the end of the day we're best friends we're helping each other out and I'm always looking out for her I want her to learn from I guess my mistakes or or things like that and just yeah. learn to know her self-worth and that's the message that I wanted to send to all people watching not just women but to all people watching this music video is knowing your worth guard your heart and you know you are strong and independent you and you should know what you want you certainly absolutely and your, and your friend looked very attractive in that video and the outfits were were awesome i think i really oh, like that you. uh that purple shot that purple shot was awesome i must say though mm -hmm. if any of my teachers looked like that i think not much learning would happen <laughs> <laughs> thank you i take that as a compliment absolutely it's so it actually that would have the... made the whole learning process way more enjoyable jada <laughs> would have had to look for other ways <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys.